Hi, this is Eric at Drobo, and today we're going to talk about how a Drobo is data aware. Most storage arrays are aware of the, the bits of data that they place on the raw hard disk drives, but they're not aware of what's actually going on inside the volumes that are carved up and assigned to servers. A Drobo is different because, primarily because it is aware of that data. Drobo looks inside the volume and, and understands how full that volume is and how it's being utilized. What that matters to the user is it presents the user with a uh, capacity gauge that is accurate and allows you to manage the storage array appropriately. So if you're running low on capacity, you can add a drive. You can change the configuration of the array. So as an example, if vol volume 1 may be half utilized and volume 2 may be you know, almost, almost uh, you know, fully utilized, and volume 3 may be only be partially utilized. Drobo aggregates that capacity and presents it to you in a form of a capacity gauge. And that's on the front of the array. And for example, if there's five lights lit up on the array, each light represents 10% capacity full, so that's 50% of the available capacity is, is utilized. And as a volume uh, utilizes more of the free space, the capacity gauge will go up, and as data is deleted from the volume, that capacity gauge will go down. That's available because Drobo is aware of what goes on inside the volume. Another advantage of being data aware is not just optimizing for capacity, but also optimizing for performance. So as data comes in from the servers into the array, some data streams are sequential in nature. They're very large IOs, like let's say you're backing up to the array. That type of data, traditional hard disk drives and um, and large wide stripes with peri data, like traditional like a RAID 5 type setup, handle really well. So that, that data may come in and go into a RAID 5 stripe. If the data is transactional in nature, meaning it's coming from a database, it's smaller IOs, it's random IOs, large stripes with, with, with what, when they have to create parity data are not as optimized. So, you, so what Drobo will do is it'll carve a mirror, small mirror off the, top of, uh, off the top of the drives, which is a better format for transactional data. So instead of having to say, okay, I'm going to configure these groups of drives in a mirror for my databases, I'm going to create these RAID 5, uh, groups for my for my backup to disk targets or for my file servers. With a Drobo, you can point uh, you can point a database to this volume, and you could use volume two for backup to disk. And Drobo behind the scenes will optimize it automatically for you.